Now it's time to talk about one of the more disturbing games out there, Plague Inc. touts themselves as a hyper-realistic disease game. I prefer to call it a simulator, and I would say it's more engaging than it is fun. In fact, I don't think it's fun at all, it's pretty macabre. And apparently it's popular among the people at the Center for Disease Control. But with all the talk of the news about the latest Ebola outbreak in West Africa, I thought I'd do a video on both this simulator and Ebola. Now, Ebola is a virus that was discovered in Africa in the 70s, the 1970s, and it's named after the Ebola River in the Congo where it was found. It's currently incurable with death occurring in a matter of days. You've got a 50 to 90% chance of dying. About 700 to 800 people have died so far in this latest outbreak. And if you do survive it, there's still some nasty symptoms that you'll be living with. Its initial transmission is believed to have come from animals like monkeys and pigs. Now, Ebola symptoms appear quickly and include the following. Fever, chills, sore throat, severe headache, weakness, joint pain, muscle pain, chest pain, cough, shortness of breath, hiccups, agitation, confusion, fatigue, seizures, and possibly coma. The disease goes to work on you by dropping your blood pressure. Massive blood clotting occurs, causing multiple organ failure and tissue necrosis, which is a medical way of saying that your body rots. Now, it can spread through body fluids, animals, even the air, and is considered a Category A biological weapon. So the only way to prevent an outbreak is really to quarantine anyone who has it. Uh, there was, in fact, an infected individual who nearly boarded a plane to the U.S. However, airline crews and airport personnel are trained to spot people who may be infected. It doesn't mean that they will stop everyone, but they're at least looking for it. The current 2014 outbreak in West Africa is the worst ever recorded. Now, it's unlikely, in my opinion, that Ebola will annihilate the entire human race, and playing the Plague Inc. simulator actually teaches you, or at least convinces you of that in an indirect way, but it doesn't mean that it won't tragically devastate parts of the world. So, if you're looking to learn about the causes, types, spreading, and prevention of disease, then Plague Inc. is for you. But if you're looking for a fun, enjoyable game, I'd look up to it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the share button and subscribe if you want more.